Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchTix.com. We've got a smartwatch in a box. How ironic, huh? Are you interested in this one? Why would you be? Well, let's look at it. First of all, it's a super attractive dress watch. And look at this puppy. Metal build all the way around. Beautiful construction. Nice size. It's got a simulated face right here, which when we turn it on, you'll see the actual face. There's the tab right there. And it comes to us from Amazon. Love it when we have a vendor that actually, you know, ships in the U.S. with uh, Amazon Direct. It's, I'm not going to pronounce it, A-TG, T-G-A. It's a smart watch called the T12, I believe, and it's a decent price too, especially for all the things you get. Here's some breakdown of it. Uh, this is directly from their Amazon page, and it tells you that it's a 1.32-inch device with breath monitor, um, distance tracker, basic kind of stuff. Uh, it gets into more detail down here as the T12, compatible with Android and iPhone, using the latest Bluetooth. It's a 360 by 360 high-resolution You've got blood oxygen, sleep monitoring, again, all the different things. We'll take a look at those. Um, it can do Bluetooth calling, which is a big additional feature, and, of course, streaming of music as well. And it's got push notifications for a variety of things like um, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and Kakao Talk. Kakao Talk? I have never used that one. Line, Messenger, Skype, very, very extensive. Uh, it does, um, of course, all your nighttime measurements and whatnot. And they do uh, after-sales service because they're on Amazon, after all. So good, solid uh, company here to be buying from. Before we get into the manual, you've got a charging wire. This I've never seen. Do not touch metal when charging. Hmm. I mean, that's plugged in, and this is on the bottom, so they don't want you to touch the watch. Well, don't touch it while you're brushing your teeth and, and turning on the water, you know? just It's always good not to make an electrical circuit anywhere. Anyway, it's just a nice, uh, strong, magnetic coupling connection to the watch. And it uh, comes with some nice silicone bands. You can get it in silver or black. And the overall user's manual gives you breakdown in all these different languages here. Basically, how to turn it on, how you charge it. Simple stuff. It's using the Glory Fit app. These are the QR codes. In the show notes, we'll have the uh, direct link to the Android uh, Play Store for you to pick it up. Shows you a little bit of the connection, some disclaimers and warnings, and then we're off into another language. So, let's put it together. I really like the feel of this one. It's got a good solid weight to it. Press and hold the top button. That'll fire it up. Three, two, one, and it vibrated and says hello, and it's booting into its uh, stock watch face. That's the one that was in that little cover that was on it. Now, when we run through it, you find you slide down. you got all these different controls. I've run it for almost two days. We still have half the power on it. Good, good decent power, it looks like. We're going to increase the brightness slightly from last night when I was asleep. But look, I can go way, way up there. So it's got a good range of brightness. We'll run the review at about that level. Flashlight built into it, which, of course, will turn it on. You can use it at night for that. And I guess you slide it to turn it off. Do not disturb. The activate-deactivate of your Bluetooth calling is right here. This will allow you to look at your apps in uh, bubbles or in a direct linear script line or in a circle. Um, three different options. And then, of course, overall settings. Where you get into the dial, where we can change that, you have the stock one, a very colorful one there. Of course, when I expand it, it would be edge to edge. These are just the thumbnails. Here's a little digital one. There's a, an interesting Roman numeral one. Another one that they've created. And then this is a, uh, a custom one that I downloaded from their uh, store where they have different watch faces. So that's in there as well. We were in settings. You've got your themes, which are... Um, the three different ways you can portray your information. Overall brightness. Screen timeout now is where you can change from 5, it looks like, to 15 seconds before it'll timeout. Info on the watch. It's the T12. We know that. 
Turn it off, reset your QR code for pairing this puppy to the Glory Fit app. Very easy to do. And then, of course, you can set up a password control on here um, if you want to as well to lock the watch out. Those are all of those things. Come up, you'll get uh, text messages if you have any pushed from your phone or any other kind of notifications that you've set up in the app. Go this way. We get into all of the different apps. We'll come back to that. Head this way. You have today's step count information. You have heart rate with a continuous heart rate chart, high and low, and it'll start doing the actual heart rate if you cover the sensors back there, and it'll give you the instantaneous reading. You can come in here and do blood pressure, similar type of thing. It's using the green diodes and it's taking a reading now. There's no continuous blood pressure, but there is uh, in the app, you can initiate it and get individual readings if you want. You can do blood oxygen, and I believe it's doing it right now, and that uses the higher red uh, diodes uh, for computation. Here's your last night's sleep time. No more data on the watch, but you have quite a bit on the app. Weather in your area, temperature, Fahrenheit, centigrade, uh, whether it's sunny or cloudy, and a little bit of forecast, that's pretty cool. And nothing more. Press and come back. From the watch face, then, we can go over here and see you have training, which are all of the different exercises and activities that you can do. There's a good number of them. No GPS in the watch directly, but you can tie in with the app. Your uh, status was our step count information. We already saw that one. Um, phone now, when you have it set up, you can uh, Bluetooth connect to the phone, to the uh, SIM card in your phone and make calls directly with the keypad if you want to, or check your call logs, look at your contacts, and this is where you can switch it on or off. See how they all went off? Mm -hmm. Now it's disconnected from the phone, and that's as easy as it gets to reconnect so you could use your watch for handling phone calls. Very nice implementation. Heart rate, last night's sleep, blood pressure, blood oxygen, weather, all those you saw. You do have a music player that will allow you to uh, stream the music from your phone. To give you an idea what the speaker sounds like, I got some music uh, queued up on the phone. Here you go. Can you hear it? You have sound volume control here you can make it louder or softer and that's full volume we had it on here so it's functional uh it's not the loudest one i've heard and it doesn't have a deep bass to it but it does get the job done and from there we got messages Alarm clock settings that you can do. This is kind of fun. These two new ones here. Stress. This is showing you a stress level. 0 to 100% continuous now. And beyond that, you have mood, which is really odd. <laughs> yes, odd. I said it odd. You can tap it and take a, a, a mood reading. I'm going to show you more detail in the app, but it'll give you basically a categorization of what kind of mood you're in right now. All right, breath training, as you've seen this before. you got a couple of games in here, a bird game and a number game that you can play. Uh, your artificial intelligence voice, of course, is Siri or um, the Google trigger thing. And uh, you can dialogue back and forth through your phone to get whatever information you want. Your functions are extra things that's in here. You've got a basic stopwatch. doesn't run in the background, so you have to exit it in order to get out of here. You got uh, countdown timers on this one. You've got find your phone, the flashlight we saw, and even a calculator on board. So it's a really well seasoned basic watch with a few extra little bells and whistles to it. Let's uh, check out the app. We're in the Google Play Store. You're looking for Glory Fit. Once you find it, you open it, set it all up, Get yourself connected with that QR code link. You'll see it'll flash here when you know you're connected. It synchronizes, and let's walk through it quickly. Here's our overall step count for the day, broken down into by hour, and it's actually showing you in those hours how many steps you've walked and more information if you want it. Really, really nice weekly, monthly summaries. Temperature in your area, hit that, shows you where you are, your overall forecast. A nice weather page goes along with this one as well. 
Now, get into all of these measurements. Your continuous heart rate is right here, and it shows you what your readings are at any particular point. Tap on the title, you get deeper into it, you get the chart again, and it shows you what zones you've been in. I've been back and forth between tranquil and stress relieving, not high activity, but uh, gives you all the information and you can track out how, how you're doing on that and go back and forth between different days. There's yesterday, for example. Here we go to um, your sleep record broken down. You've got awake time and light sleep and deep sleep in this one with a quality analysis at total. Check it back to yesterday, slightly different. Not too many awake times for me. That was good. Woke up a couple of times here before actually waking up. Blood pressure. Now, this is the one I'm telling you, you only get individual readings. So you have to kind of come down here and hit start. And it will go through the process on the watch. Now, you haven't seen it on either. I put it, uh, I put it on while I was getting ready for the uh, review of the app. But uh, that's what it looks like. It's a very, very nice watch. Very dressy. And it's doing the uh, blood pressure reading now. I'm supposed to be holding still. I want to take a second one because I'll show you. Uh, you saw one on the chart already, and then this will give you another one. And they're discrete measurements. It's not something it's doing continuously for you. So you have to, like, initiate it each time. Completed one circle. It's still going because... Uncle wasn't holding still. I was moving around. I typically do that. Uh, there we go. It had enough time for that. So you've got a couple of different readings. High, low pressure. And there's the actual readings. Check these against your calibrated cuff to verify whether it's accurate for you. This is not accurate for me. I'm up in the 120 to 130 range. So I would either need to add a differential to it, or if it does, isn't consistent between measurements, then just not use it at all for information purposes. You do the same thing, okay? I want, want you guys to stay healthy. Blood oxygen, continuous, anywhere you tap, it'll show you the uh, reading. Here, you get in here and it shows you the whole chart, and wow, looks like I had possibly some sleep apnea moments last night. This is during the night at around, well, there's three in the morning, there's midnight, couple of times it dipped and this is consistently low for a, quite a, a long period of time so that would be something i would be wanting to check further just to see if i'm having a problem with sleep apnea or holding my breath or what what might be up there could be that the watch was just kitty wampus love that word you know off at an angle and it wasn't getting a good reading i don't know but that's some basic data that you can look at here's the night before wow several of them again Early on, before going to sleep, all the way down to 92, or in the early part of sleep. That's your deep sleep level, guys. You remember, your REM sleep comes later in the night. So this would tell me I might be experiencing some breath-breathing concern happening when I'm in my deep, deep sleep. Who knows? That's something to check out. But that's kind of little data that uh, you, can, you can get for helping you understand what's going on with these watches. Here's my stress record, 44, 46, looks like an average of 33. Uh, I presume the lower the better, the perception of stress, I'm easy as 3% of the time, normal 97. I didn't have a lot of high stress. Oh, it's measuring? Oh, okay, well, there's uh, an instant reading. It's jumping into the game with us. So I get a stress index at the moment of 34. And uh, I can come back here. There's yesterday, and then again, there was today. So you get a nice picture of your overall stress with this, and it's a continuous reading. The emotion record, this is different. And I'm, well, I'm, let me talk to you about it. Here it is today. I have had a nice, easy day. Hasn't, nothing much has been going on. And easing into this review, I definitely am positive and peaceful most of the time. The orange is about negative. That's when, like, you're not in a good mood. Yesterday was a whole different story, and it shows. It didn't really start it till I put it on and had to go out on a bunch of errands that didn't go that well. Traffic that wasn't moving smoothly. Just kind of one of those days you, what do you call Not a groundhog day, I'll put it that way. And sure enough, I had. A much higher level of negative mood. Mood. This isn't stress now. I have no idea how it's computing mood, but I got to tell you, it's really interesting. 
uh, something worth playing with. And that's all of the cards here. You can change the order or delete them if you want to. Your sports section, this is where you can tie GPS in with the watch. You can go out and do a walk or run or something and get a track. It's not no GPS in module in the watch, so you can't take it independent. But in a way, that's okay because it doesn't use a lot of power. And as long as you can drag your phone with you in your pocket or whatever, it'll be able to connect and, and give you that information. It'll tie in your blood uh, heart rate, uh, the temperature and conditions along with uh, what you're doing. The overall device now is a T12. These are all the different things you can turn on, turn off, raise your hand to see the time. What I don't like is you have to do this manually in the app, like going to bed. I have to turn it off here. There's not a, I couldn't find a way to do it in the watch. Slight annoyance, and I've had it off, so it wasn't working when I would just twist it. Now it is because I just turned it back on. You're in overall universal uh, settings. You can do your metric or British systems and time and language and all of those things are in here as well. And then you can unbind the watch to do a different watch, or you can have you and all of your information. If you're set up as a female, you can put in all of your um, cycle information and that will be available as well. And then third party access, if you wanna use Google Fit, you can. It's not connected with Strava or Runtastic or any of the other apps, but it does do that with Google Fit. Your system settings are here, you can log in uh, or log out. You can run it without having to be logged in or you can set it up so it's all safe to the cloud. Um, and that's basically the app. So as far as the device itself goes, it's a really nice watch. Um, it's got quite a few features to it. It's coming to us through Amazon. So if you're comfortable using Amazon, the return policy, all that, uh, this might be a good one to look into. Price is reasonable. Uh, there's a little coupon here, and if I have another coupon for you, I'll have it in the show notes. You can take advantage of that. You can get it in this silver color with a gray band or black like you see it here. All righty, gang. There you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.